Hey guys, today I want to show you one of the craziest puzzles I'm going to be releasing this year. It is a deep cut dino hexagonal prism and I call it the Hexultimate. So this is what the Hexultimate looks like. And before I start, I want to talk geometry a little bit. Now it's similar to a star mix because you see you've got that center, those star tips right there, and something you may have noticed already, here the cuts tend to join in the middle of the corner, well, corner, so to speak, which is the same as here, where all the cuts meet in the middle of the corner, resulting in this shape. So it should be hexaminx, but the thing is, hexaminx is already taken, so I called it hexultimate to refer to the pentultimate. And it is a deep cut version of the dino hexagonal prism. The thing is, this puzzle is one of the biggest that I've released this year. Now let me show you as a size comparison to the, the Terra Icosmoid. Um, the Terra Icosmoid is way smaller and yet it has a lot more parts, well, outside parts. And this is huge. So the thing is, this has four layers of mechanism. There are four different puzzles superposed inside, which is why it's so heavy and so big. It's, it's about 500 grams. So let's try to turn it and see how it goes. So you see, it's, it spins like that, which is actually it spins quite well for, for a puzzle that complex. I just have a few inner lockups, but that's, that's fine. It's quite reasonable. Let's see if I turn it another on another side. Again, quite reasonable turning quality. Uh, only a few lockups, so that's that's great. Now let's see how it turns and jumbles. Because the thing is, this puzzle is well, it is a jumbling only puzzle. So we have to find an angle at which it jumbles. Now you can find symmetries around there. So for example, this is symmetrical to this. In it, well, it's a long story, but this is the same thing. These parts right there are the same size as these parts and as these parts when you, um, well, do the cuts on a sphere. Which means that if I replace this line of parts here by this one, then I can turn the puzzle like this. Now I've noticed that it is the same jumbling angle as for the different symmetries that you can find, like this one that's symmetrical to this. Again, if you replace it, then you can turn it like that. Uh, sorry, no, not like that. Here, you turn it like this. And it is the same thing for this huge part right there that jumbles. So, let's see. If I turn it the right angle, which is, I have no idea how many degrees, but it's when I align these layers here. Well, then I can turn it like this. So there's one type, one type of turn. I can turn it like this. So that's two. Oh, I've got a sticker falling off. Uh, I should probably put this back. Yeah, I, I haven't super glued the stickers on or anything yet, so uh, so it's normal for this to happen on 3D printed puzzles. I haven't ironed them either, so so that's absolutely normal. Uh, usually, I iron my puzzles. Uh, you've seen on some of them that the the surface quality is a bit grainy on the stickers. That is because of the um, the surface treatment that I do, and I heat the stickers to melt them on the surface uh, using an iron, uh, hence the term ironing. I did that on the on the Terra Icosamoid. Um, so I've got that type of turning here. That's two. I've got this type of turning there. No, I don't have a type of turning here. I could turn it using another angle, but this is not the right one. I've got this type of turning there, and this one as well. And then I've got this... Wait, let me see. If I turn it like that, I've got this whole thing here. If I turn it like this... So I've got some more jumbling angles somewhere. Um, I should probably try to align... Oh, I've got another jumbling angle. There you go. Here, if I move it all the way up to here and align these layers, then I get the rest of the jumbling moves. And that would be this one, the one that I showed you earlier with this whole part here. I've got this one as well, which is the one I was talking to you about a few seconds ago. Um, and I believe I've got a few more maybe? Uh, no, I think that's about it. So yeah, it's, it's quite a complex puzzle and I think it would probably scramble like crazy. So I think I have to check right now so I can show you. So let's see, if I turn it like this, these faces align again. And let's see if I can find another place where I can 
turn it. Actually, no, this is jumbled in a, in a state where nothing is turnable after, afterwards. So, uh, I could do this, then turn it like that. That would turn, that would work. So it does work, uh, wow. And then it gets crazy. Uh, I think after this, maybe I could turn something else. I have no idea, this is way too complicated. Uh, yeah, I don't want to get too go too crazy with that. I know that these puzzles are very difficult to scramble, not just to solve, but very difficult to scramble. I don't know if you remember, for those who have been on my channel for a while, if you remember the Pentex, I released it this year as well. Uh, what am I doing? I released it this year as well. Um, it was a puzzle which for two weeks I thought was not scramblable, but it was in the end. So, uh, it turns out this is more complicated than you would think. Uh, I found, I just found something that you can do as well. If you turn it like that, oh, sorry, I had a bit of a lockup. Then you can turn it like this and split those parts off from the rest. I mean, there's a lot of moves that you can do uh, with this puzzle, so... It is really crazy. Then you could turn it like that. I'm not gonna scramble it anymore. So, so let's just try to put it back to its original shape. So that's correct. This is correct, and back to its original shape. There you go. So yeah, I, I hope you like this puzzle. I really enjoy it, and I think it would be a, an, an incredibly difficult solve, let alone a difficult scramble. Uh, if you did enjoy it, feel free to subscribe and share this video. It really helps. And I will see you, I will not see you next week this one, this time, uh, because next week I'm not releasing any videos, I will be in Dutch Cube Day in Voorburg in, uh, in the Netherlands, so this is great. Uh, I'm gonna go and see uh, Oscar van Deventer again, and, uh, and all those designers, and, uh, and uh, twisty puzzle modders like Tony, and you know, everyone, so that's really great. So I will make a, a sort of vlog that I'll release the weekend after, but I will not be uploading anything next week. So I'll see you in two weeks, and in the meantime, uh, well, enjoy your week!